let's organize your model for rigging. For the sake of this video, I've pulled up my model drawn by Crimsy, and this is a specific tutorial version. Your model artist should have already neatly organized your layers by name. So on the left, you can see all of my layers and how they are nicely named by left and right. Different artists will have different ways of organization, but if you get your model and your layers are not named, please go back to your artist and request them to do so. It will be a nightmare to rig your model that is not properly organized. Now, that's what your artist can do for you. Here is what you can do before you begin to rig to keep yourself organized. Select your entire model. Yes, select everything, every single layer. How we can select it is we can take our mouse and drag it over the entirety of our model and it will automatically select a bunch of stuff. Down the control button and then select those things as well. You want to make sure you grab every single layer. And I'm just doing that really quick. Like we've got everything. Once everything is selected, we create a warp deformer. It is this little button at the top. We click it. I like to call this full body, if I can spell. And then we hit create. Now every single part of your model should be under this warp deformer. We can test this by moving it around. And since everything moves, we know it's connected. We can hit control Z then afterwards to snap it back into place. From here, we're going to split the model into two major sections. We're going to start with the head. This will include the hair, eyes, mouth, but don't include the neck. So in order to do this, we can do the mouse trick again. We can select the head, but you'll see it's going to select a bunch of other stuff too. That's okay. We're going to use the control trick again. So we're going to hold down control and go to our left. I'm going to select anything that we want to keep and then deselect anything we don't want to keep. And that's the exact same method with holding down control. So I don't want any of the wings, so we're just going to deselect everything for the wings. And then we're going to deselect the full body that we, we selected on accident. And then now we're going to go up, create another warp deformer, and we're going to label this head. Now, to see if you did this correctly, you just do the same thing we did earlier to test. If you manage to move your entire head with all of the layers you want, then congratulations, you have successfully separated your head from the body. And again, control Z to snap it back. Now we're going to do everything else, which includes the rest of the body. So we're going to grab everything but the head this time and create a new warp deformer called the body. So we can do the exact same thing and we can just use our mouse to select. It's going to look messy. Don't worry about that. We're going to hold down control and just grab all of the layers that we need. Sometimes it can be tedious, but this is also a sure way to make sure we're selecting what we want and not accidentally selecting things we don't need. And then we're going to call this our body. And there we go. To test. Now, if I move this, all of my entire body of my model is can be moved separately and we can control Z to snap it back into place. All right, so now you have separated your model into three parts. You have your full body, which is your entire model. Then you've separated it into the head and the body. This alone is going to make rigging a little bit easier. However, here comes the not so fun part. We're going to break it down further. So I'm talking, we're going to put the eyes in its own warp deformer, the mouth, the hair, um, your specific body parts, like your arms, your legs. And then if you have special items like horns and wings, like my model has, you're going to likely put those in separate body parts as well. Or warp deformers, excuse me. Okay, so I have been organizing for a bit, and you can see this is my head. This is just the individual organization I've done for the head so far. Depending on how many layers your model has, you may have more or less than me, but this is just an example of how you can break it down. And here is how I labeled my body. I'll probably be breaking down the body into further parts in later parts of the rigging, but this will get us started for the organization, and you're welcome to do something similar if that will help you get organized as well. 
Likelihood is as you get into the meat of rigging, you'll see what warp deformers work for you and what don't, how you like to organize things, and what you might not like. But you'll create and delete as you go, but phew, you finally organized everything you need, but you aren't done. I know, you aren't done yet. One more thing you can do to organize your rig is to organize your parameters into folders. Right now, everything is just into a messy list, and we are looking at this list over here. With folders, you can separate the different sections of the model. This, alongside separating your model into work performers like we just did, will save you so much time. To create a folder, all you have to do is right-click anywhere in this parameter folder, and then you can do create folder then folder one will pop up you can rename it to anything you like for this first one i'm going to call it head angles and then you can also change the color of the folders however you like by hitting reset not reset color my apologies set group color and then you can change it to any color on the wheel that you so desire i like to make it rainbow color just because it's fun all right, I just finished making my folders and this is the folders that I'll be using. If I create more, then we'll create more if necessary, but this is how I like to separate them. You're more than welcome to copy the same ones as well and they'll just be good to use. I've already put some of the parameters in the certain, in the certain folders but you don't have to do this right away we're just getting started having the folder set up like this alone will already put you in a good position make sure to save your work we go up to the top and hit file save or Control s it might take a second to save you're gonna make sure you're gonna want to make sure to save lots while you're working on rigging and hopefully in the next video i'll show you how to do some simple rigging tricks see you next time